It's been two months. It's time for us to start the grieving process. <gasps> oh, get out. Y'all want me to evict Sonny. We the next generation. We the next generation. This ain't Star Trek. Film episode six, reveal Keisha's captor. And how long is it gonna take for us to get him captured? This is the trailer review for episode seven, where we break this thing down, see if we can find some clues. Not a whole lot going on in this trailer, but we're gonna check it out anyway. And if you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Making her face-to-face -face Russell Wilson hair debut. It's the baby L in the building. Y'all will be seeing a whole lot of this little baby. And look at the camera, not at daddy. Saying hey to y'all as she wanna help me get this trailer review done. Be sure to turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. You never know when I might drop a full video about this little precious thing. All right, y'all, let's get into this trailer and break it down. Let's watch the trailer one more time, see what clues we can find, and then we'll discuss it. What's up? Don't be like that. Like what? Cold. When Jake find out you killed his brother, he might wake up with a knife at your throat. I've got unfinished business to take care of. I'm not giving up hope. First clip, you've got Kev's mom standing there just still looking sad about what's going on with Keisha. Then they bounce to... Dre basically trying to tell Kel's mom, man, it's been over two months. It's time for us to actually start thinking about grieving. And Kel's mom is like, hell to the gnaw. And she actually tells her wife to get out because she's re not ready to give up on her daughter being missing. And, you know, I think that's the sentiment a lot of parents would have until there's a body or something that shows up, you wouldn't be ready to say that your daughter is dead. But at the same time, when you've got your rational loved ones around you, you gotta try to find a modicum of compassion to understand that they're there to help you and they're trying to help you make the best decisions because right now you might be emotional. And I think that's all Dre is doing, but Kev's mom, Keisha's mom, she's, she's just out of it. Very next clip, we finally get our introduction to Lil Rail. And apparently he is either the banker or the commercial entity that owns Sonny's restaurant. And you see Dominique and Emmett sitting there trying to get him to evict Sonny. Basically saying it's time for the new generation. And Little Rail's like, man, what in the hell are you talking about? This ain't Star Trek. Because let's break this down, ladies and gentlemen. What does Emmett or Dominique, either one of them have in order to take over the payments for the restaurant. Ain't neither one of them got no money. Ain't neither one of them got no collateral. So I don't know if they're gonna to try to finagle some kind of deal with Little Rail and his character, but what kind of deal can you finagle when there's gotta be a contract in place for Sonny's restaurant? But keep in mind, they said Dominique is gonna be sneaky. She's gonna have some trick up her sleeve. And whatever that trick might be, could be something to steal Sonny's restaurant. Very next clip, we get Kev and Gemma. And from last episode, she really made Kev mad by telling her mother about the death of Keisha and then, Ke then her mom going and telling all the parents and the parents getting it down to the kids. And she is really just like, Kev, why are you giving me the cold shoulder? And Kev is still frustrated with her. But ladies and gentlemen, I do think Kev kind of overreacted to her basically basically trying to get a little closer to him. She told her mom what she probably shouldn't have done, but she came clean about it. She, she sat him down, you know, tried to lift the moment by giving him a great birthday gift of an iPad, and then she just came clean. I mean, what more can you expect when someone makes an honest mistake? And her mistake was made because she's trying to figure out a way to get closer to him, to help him get over the pain, and um, basically Kev did what his mom just did to Dre and shunned her, and ladies and gentlemen, I do think this is the fracturing that's gonna leave the opening for Jake. Speaking of Jake, next clip we see Duda and Jake, and Duda's looking at Jake, knowing in his mind that he done killed his brother, and you hear Candy in the background saying, what you gonna do when Jake finds out that you killed his brother? As you can see, Candy is right there, giving my man a clean shave, reminding me of Sealy from The Color Purple. And I do think that if not this season, maybe in the coming seasons, 
Jake will be out to get Duda and possibly kill him. And a lot of y'all are sick of Duda's character anyway, and y'all want something bad to happen to him. What better way than to let these kids grow up than to let Jake get some vengeance? But I would like Jake to get vengeance in a way that doesn't involve him killing Duda. Then we see our man Ronnie, who, like I said, we don't know which way his emotions are going to go, considering his grandma just died, and um, God rest her soul as a character, because she was entertaining as hell. And he's going door to door. As you can see, the backgrounds continuously change. He's going from one neighborhood to the other one, trying to figure out where Keisha is at. That's what I'm assuming he's doing. Just knocking door to door, trying to see if he can see what's going on. But what I'm disappointed with is I, for some reason, thought that Ronnie was going to circle back to old Pedo Boy's house and figure out that he did have something going on in there, but apparently he didn't. And in the very last clip, we see Keisha just in pure agony, agonizing, desperate, distraught, anything you can think of that describes pain and torment. She's giving y'all a actorial run right here, just frustrated, man. And the countdown begins. When is she gonna get free? Is it gonna be this episode? This episode, this trailer doesn't show me anything that says she's gonna get free this episode. So maybe it'll be episode eight. But leave me all your comments on what you think is going to happen. Uh, when do you think she's going to get free? What are you expecting by the end of this season? Because we're getting close, ladies and gentlemen. And follow me tonight as me and Larry are going to go live. We'll have the homegirl from Pair of Weight, Sharonda, on the channel tonight to review the Shy and P Valley. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.